Korea. I had an amazing time. I tried to keep my content up to date on my channel so you guys would still have videos going up to watch and things like that. So I worked really hard in advance to make sure that I still had content going up. But now that I am back, I can get back on to reviewing products for you guys, doing makeup tutorials, showing you guys different things that I love, etc., etc. So I'm so excited to be kind of sitting back in my shooting area filming for you guys. So just to give you guys a heads up on the Korea trip, I did pretty much vlog every single thing I did. So I have a lot of footage that is going to come out for you guys as well as a massive haul. So in the meantime, I'm going to kind of go over some of the products that I bought until I can get that kind of sorted for you guys. So be patient. It is coming. I am going to do a haul, so don't worry. I know a lot of you guys are really curious to see what I bought and curious to see what I did in Korea. So all of that is coming, but it's just going to take a little bit of time for me to go through the footage and edit it and all that kind of good stuff. So. Let's talk about what today's video is going to be on. Today's video is actually going to be on the brand new 3CE Fitting Cushion Foundation. Now if you're not familiar with the brand 3CE, it actually stands for Three Concept Eyes. It is, oh god my hair. It is Style Nanda's makeup brand and yeah, this is a brand new product that they came out with. They've been kind of blasting their social media with advertisements and pictures of this. So here it is you guys. Let's do a live demo, first impressions of it. This is brand spanking new. I haven't touched it. Nothing. Here's the refill for the cushion itself and here is the magnificent cushion. As you can see, it still even has the security tape on it, which is coming off. Let's take this guy off. Okay. I got a lot. It has a light scent to it. It's nothing too heavy or crazy, so that's nice. This is obviously a very dewy type of cushion foundation right off the bat. I can tell that this is gonna have a super dewy finish, which it is obviously meant to have. It has excellent coverage. I don't know if you guys can see how awesome that is. I did cut kind of a lot of product, but you can see like the redness around my nose is concealed pretty well. My dark circles are getting covered nicely as well. Okay, so this is obviously the half of my face that has been covered by the 3CE Fitting Cushion Foundation. And this is the other half that hasn't. This is kind of a weird comment, but these cushion foundations from 3CE I'm not that impressed with. I actually like the, I don't know, this must be a different type of material because it feels different than the blue ones a lot of other brands use, so that's just kind of a sidebar comment. But this has a fairly natural finish, but I wouldn't say it's lightweight. I can feel it on my skin. What I do with all first impressions, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like in natural light, finish my makeup and wear it throughout the day, and kind of tell you guys my experience as I wear it. So I will see you guys in a second. Hey guys, so it is super late and my lighting is not as great as it was earlier and I hope you guys can hear me because I'm speaking really quietly because everyone in my house is asleep. It's been on my face for... like 14 hours. Looking at my face, but everything looks pretty good. Again, I can see a bit of creasing underneath my eyes where foundation and concealer usually creases. It does feel a bit heavy still, so I can still feel it on my skin. But I went ahead and removed half of my foundation. And from what I can tell, there's not much of a difference between the side that has no foundation and the side that has foundation besides the blush color. So that makes me think that this is a fairly long lasting foundation because it is I have had it on for 14 hours, but it's not super long lasting where it has effective coverage for those full 14 hours. So I used this a different day and instead of using that puff that came with it, I used an air puff that came from a different cushion foundation and it applied much more smooth. I also applied it a little bit lighter and decided to set it with a teeny bit of powder. I use the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder because it's super light and doesn't really affect the color or the long lasting ability of the foundation. And of course, here's what it looks like in natural lighting.
And this is what my face looked like after 11 hours of wear. I don't know what that is on my face, so just ignore it. So today I am doing kind of my final first impression. Now this cushion is a high coverage cushion. It's supposed to have a natural finish and it also has a moisture barrier built into it so that when it applies to your skin, it stays nice and dewy looking. Now the first day that I applied this, I found that it did look nice and dewy. However, it didn't have that overly dewy look where it looks like your skin's oily and you need to kind of like powder down. It had a very nice natural finish, which I love about this product. Also right off the bat I noticed it was extremely high coverage for a cushion foundation. It applied on my skin and pretty much I didn't even need a concealer. Today I'm actually wearing it on my skin right now and whilst I do have a concealer underneath my eye to cover up some dark circles, when I was trying this out for the couple days that I did I didn't even wear a concealer and honestly I didn't notice much of a difference. On day one I decided not to set this with a powder. I didn't use a primer or anything like that because I just want to see how this performed on its own. Because this has a higher coverage I I did find that it felt a bit heavy on the skin and that's honestly my biggest complaint with this. Because it felt heavy on the skin and I didn't set it with powder all day, I kind of felt like it was almost slipping around on my skin, like I could feel it sitting on my skin, it never fully absorbed. The day that I wore this, I decided to kind of give it another go with, you know, making a couple slight changes, nothing too drastic, but essentially I just set it with a powder. I used the Innisfree Nocebo Mineral Powder because this is a fairly generic powder. In my personal opinion, it doesn't so much extend the wear, doesn't change the color of the foundation, it doesn't do any of that, so that was nice. And I just kind of set it with as little powder as I possibly could, so I didn't even apply that much powder on top. And again, I didn't use a primer and I didn't use a concealer. Now boy, did that make a difference in how this actually wore. It did look still very natural and it lasted just as long as it did the first day, but I also found that it kind of solved the problem of it feeling like it was slipping around my skin, so it definitely helped set this. Although it did still feel a bit heavy on the skin, it was definitely much more bearable than on the first day. So the second day, and today to be completely honest, I am in love with this foundation. I think it's fantastic, especially for those of you guys who are looking for a higher coverage foundation. My overall consensus of this product, let's go ahead and talk about the cons first and get those out of the way. The first con is you do feel this sitting on your skin. It is a high coverage foundation. This air puff that comes with it, which is a Ruby Cell foundation puff, I actually didn't didn't like this. Now in other cushion foundations, just to give you guys a couple examples, you get these blue air puffs, and these are called air puffs. Mine are pretty dirty, so excuse that. But these are a bit softer and give a little bit more than this one. This one's a bit firmer. It's, it's really gonna be hard for me to demonstrate this for you guys, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but, but these do an awesome job. Those are the cons of this foundation. Now let's talk about the pros. <laughs> I'm getting out of breath. It's been a while since I've like sat down and done a video. <laughs> so the pros of this foundation is number one, it's coverage. Excellent, excellent coverage. Also the coverage is nice and natural, so that was magnificent and it did last a very long time so those are the definite pros for this foundation i hope that was helpful for those of you guys who are looking to purchase this cushion foundation or were looking for more information on this because i know it's a fairly new product and while i was in korea i had the opportunity to check out several style nanda 3ce stores i was definitely trying to find and pick up some products i thought you guys would be interested in seeing and the ones that i was interested in as well i am going to be doing a full one brand tutorial on them so be sure to look out for that. It'll probably be a little bit until I'm able to get that out because I have so many fun videos for you guys and like exciting stuff coming up. So don't forget to subscribe so you guys will be updated when I do upload those videos. Just trust me guys. <sighs> I won't disappoint you. And also I have a massive, massive haul coming up which is going to be the haul that I got while it was in Korea a week ago and it it's pretty massive, so that's why it's taking me so long to kind of get it together. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!